Last week, I diagnosed an oil leak. This week on Marina Queen Sailing, I take out that old stove. Oh yeah, stick around. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen out there. This old Seaward stove oven combo that I have. It's probably 36 years old. Propane. I can only get one burner to work. I'm sure the other burner can be can be made to work, and I'm sure the oven can be made to work as well. But I just don't like playing with explosive stuff like that. And this stuff is really old too. Like, take a look at this. This is the the little cubby they have in the cockpit where we keep these. I think these are 10 pound propane containers. But take a look at this. I mean, that has to be original. And it doesn't look like it was given much preventative maintenance. So I really just don't have a lot of interest in trying to breathe new life into this stove. There are a lot of camping stoves out there and they have some pretty cool solutions. I'll show you what I have in mind, but not until I get this thing out of here. All right, so if I gimbal this thing all the way back, well, you can see I have access to the connection there. And I just need to unscrew that and then remove the stove. Too bad. Ah, here we go. Yeah, so this thing just gimbled on a, these little brackets right here. There were these little uh, pivots that they just swung on. Here. Well, I'm all sweaty, working hard. I'm here with Sergio. There he is. Sergio is picking up my my uh, stove and oven. Oh my goodness! And there he goes. While I'm not a big fisherman, I really enjoy walking along the, the piers at H&M Landing on Saturdays and Sunday mornings. H&M Landing is the West Coast's oldest sport fishing charter company. They've been operating out of San Diego since 1935. Just seeing the fishermen just talk with the excitement in their voice as they get ready to head out on their fishing adventure. It's just very exciting. This is what it looks like right now. I got some new matting down there. 
uh, which I like. I simple greened the back wall, put a light, uh, light sand on it, and then wiped it down clean, and put the matting in there. But I think the whole thing needs to get painted, so I've got a, some gray bilge coat. I'm going to do the whole thing in gray, and I think it's going to look really nice. And be ready for my solution. 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 My solution. Yeah. All right. Well, we're painting it gray right now. So this is the primer coat. It looks pretty good. It's really, there's a lot of pigment in it. It's right here. Use the Interlux pre-coat. And it just covers everything, as you can see really great it's uh, dry to the touch in two hours and ready for overcoat in 16 hours so tomorrow we'll put the final coat on this and then it'll be ready to take the new solution okay well I have some closure I think on what I want to do with the engine with regards to this oil leak. The complicating factor is that the high pressure fuel pump and the governor itself mount to the timing gear case cover. So to take the cover off, you have to first take off the high pressure fuel pump and disconnect the governor. There are linkages in the high pressure fuel pump which also timed the delivery of these bursts of high pressure fuel into the cylinder. If you get these linkages wrong or, or messed up at all when you're doing a reinstallation, that engine just won't run because the timing will be off. The timing has to be perfect. I've never done this before, so everything I would be seeing, I would be seeing for the first time. And having talked with some Yanmar specialists, this thing can be tricky. And there are rebuilt engines that don't run. And people can't figure out what they did wrong, you know. And they'll just have to take the thing apart again, over and over, until they figure it out. And I don't want that problem with this boat. And a couple of drops of oil isn't going to be the end of the world. So I think that's the next step for me. Put it all back together and just, you know, baby the engine. Yeah, so here they are, the logo icons. So what's cool about them is they come with their own adhesive, peel and stick. So should be easy to put these on. So let's put them on. Look at this. Yeah, let's unpeel that so we can see it in all its glory. Here we go. Time updates, check out at Marina Queen Sailing. 
on Instagram. All right.